Hello YouTube, another video by White Engine 333 Productions here. And today we are going to be looking at some of my wooden railway customs. Uh four to be exact. Um so without further ado, let's get started. So here is Thomas. Uh He's probably the simplest out of all of them, if I'm being honest. I painted his face silver and I tried painting his eyes white. The camera will focus. Yeah, but that that did not work out. Uh, he does have a black running board, which, uh, why not? I tried painting his wheels, which completely failed. This will not be the final model of Thomas. I will probably get a replacement. So, goodbye, Thomas. Okay, next up is Edward. Okay, so let me address the elephant in the room. This is not Edward's tender. It's actually Gordon's tender in disguise. But yeah, I'm just calling it Edward's tender because I don't actually have a tender for him. Anyways... He has a silver face, same as Thomas, which actually looks kind of decent. Uh, black running board. For some reason, oh yeah, I forgot I painted the name. Uh, so yeah, that that's kind of just Edward. I don't really have much to say about him. Next up is another, or well... Next up is probably my second favorite one out of all of them. Uh, it's Tobias. Um, it's actually a Railway Series accurate Toby. I decided to go for the Railway Series because why not? Because I thought it looked cool. So, yeah. Um... I am doing a Tobias and Half Pariah parody, which will probably not come out for a while, but this will be the model of Toby that I use for that movie, so, yeah. Okay, so the final custom, I have a lot to say about it. Or, probably not a lot, but still. Yeah. This is probably the most, like, this is probably one of the most, or the hardest to make custom I've made so far. And, um, this will be the Percy I use in my series. Um, I was originally going to make a railway series Percy, but the body of the wooden railway Percy, like, I just didn't feel like doing all that. So I ended up making this. Personally, I think it looks a lot better. Um, it's not complete. It still has the black wheels. It's 80, or actually no, it's 90% complete. Once I paint those wheels green and add a few extra details, the Percy model will be finished. Also, the face can come off, so yeah. That's very interesting. The couplings, I ripped them off. And fun fact, uh, a funny story about this model. Uh, it's actually being held together by glue tack. Yeah, that's the only thing that's holding this model together. I might use double-sided tape in the future. Uh, I, I guess only time will tell. I added red stripes, which the back stripes are a little wonky, but frankly, I don't care. Uh, I might get another model of Percy, one in better condition, because this one has a few areas where it's not perfect. But anyways, how did I get this model on this chassis? This is a, uh, a winter caboose chassis, which has been destroyed, put back together and destroyed, um, and that's not a joke, by the way, um, 
I will say that, like, basically what I had to do was I had to cut holes in the front and the back because there were these two peg things in the body. I'm not going to pull it apart and show y'all because I worked hard on getting this model together and I don't feel like pulling it apart. But, yeah. And basically I cut holes through it. I did a few other things. Um, this model, like, it fits perfectly because, like, the underneath of it had, like, a thing where it was just, like, all, I don't know how to explain it, but basically, had I done this a lot earlier, it probably wouldn't have worked, so, yeah. I had to cut a few parts, uh, but I think it was worth it. Uh, I will paint the wheels green probably tomorrow, like sometime tomorrow, but yeah, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, uh, I also need to paint the buffers, but anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, bye bye.